Hi, this is Brian from Profitless Media and Post. In the last video, I received a question in the comments asking how I added the shadows to the animated text in the final composite. So this week, we're going to talk about how we can add geometry in Fusion to cast a shadow on the animated text as it goes under the bridge. This video and the last video are part of a larger tutorial that will be coming soon about the entire process from start to finish. Okay, so here we are in Fusion. So what we're looking to do is add geometry that will represent the shadows that the bridge would cast on our 3D text. Now we could take our 3D camera and bring it into a 3D software package and do an accurate model of the bridge and use that as a shadow caster. But we're going to take a look at using simple geometry inside Fusion to do just this. So let's bring up our 3D scene. And you can see we have a pretty decent point cloud for our bridge. And the way I'm looking at this is that we could do this with, with two shapes. We have our arch here, the underneath of the bridge, which we could do with a cylinder. And then we have the back wall of the bridge, which we can do with just a card. So let's work on the cylinder first. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. One way to do this is I'm going to grab this point here in the front, which is right in the front, close to the center. And then I'm going to grab another point holding down shift and grab the second point in the back, which is pretty close to the same location. And what that's going to do is when I add in the cylinder, it's going to make the length of the cylinder will fit the bridge width. And it'll also align the Y axis with these two points, which will make it easier to position. So with those two points selected, let's right click on them. And we'll go down to Point Cloud 3D1 and create a line shape. And you can see now we have a cylinder where the Y axis is aligned to those two points. And if we look from the side, you can see that this is the right length for the width of the bridge. So now we just need to put it into place. Now we can just position it by eye like this and try to get into position. But another way that we can look at this is by looking through the camera into the original scene. So what we can do is let's right click inside the scene, go to camera and go to our 3D one, which is our original camera. And so now we're looking through the camera and now we just need the background. We can do that by going over to our camera and let's unlock it and, and enable image plane. And so now we can see our image behind here and all we need to do is position this. We obviously need a much larger radius. So I'm going to bring this radius up and I'm looking at the width right here. I'm going to bring it down a little bit so that it matches. We're trying to match this curve. Maybe a little bit wider. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Um, you can see here that the subdivisions are a little small. If we need to smooth this out, we can come over to base subdivisions and just look, turn that up to get it to smooth out. So now we have a nice clean arc underneath the bridge. Now the next thing is we don't really want the bottom. We just want this top part. And we can take care of that if we come down to the angle. And once I start bringing this up, you can see that we're not going a full 360, we can change this to whatever we need. So I'm going to change this to 180 so it's just half. And there we go. So now we have this nice arch underneath the bridge, which matches up with the bridge geometry pretty well. Now if we go backwards, let's go back some. Now you can see the problem we have here. Now obviously we have this the back wall of the bridge is going to be more of a straight line, so we need to put a card there to make this look more accurate. So let's go back to the perspective view. And we're going to do the same thing that we did for this arch, except this time we're just going to grab one point. And we're going to grab that point in the back. And what happens when we grab one point? It's going to be aligned to the camera. So with that one point selected, let's create a line shape. I'm going to rearrange this a little bit. 
I'm going to unhook from the point cloud and bring the objects right into our 3D scene. And so, okay, so this is our the one we just made. And this one here we want to change to a plane. Okay, great. So now we have our plane, and now we just need to fit this to match up with the back wall. So the width and height are going to be different, so let's click off the width and height so we can set, do these separate. I'm going to bring the width so that it's at least as wide, and the height can come down, maybe something like that. And we're just going to see how we can... Now if we look at it from the side, you can see that it lines up perfectly with the back of our archway. And now we just got to make sure that the height of this plane doesn't go over the top of the bridge. So we can, let's check this again. Let's right click, go to camera, look through our camera, and just make sure. Now one of the things you can tell is we can't see this back, the back railing, so we know that this card's got to be a little bit lower. It's going to probably be somewhere just underneath this edge. And then we can go back to the, the perspective view. And another thing we can check is sort of the height of this right here is the top of the front railing. So if we come from the side, we should be able to kind of tell the height. And that looks about right. Maybe a little bit lower, something like that. And now if we come from the side, you can see now we're getting a, as the text comes in, you can see now we're getting this nice shadow that should represent the back of the bridge. So now that we have our shadow set up, now we just need to get rid of the geometry but keep the shadows. So to do that, let's add a override 3D. Oops, override 3D. And we're going to put that in between this merge and our 3D scene. And in this override, all we need to turn on is under visibility, do unseen by camera, unseen by cameras. And once we do that, let's go over to the final render. Oops, I left on the back plate. So let's go back to our original camera, turn off the image plane. There we go. That's more like it. Um, and now you can see that we have our shadow coming in and then it gets nice and dark underneath the bridge and then as we come out the other side you should start seeing the shadow change to like an arch like this okay great so that's one way you can add a shadow caster inside davinci resolve fusion using simple geometry so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you again in the next one